Hey guys, me Ho Super Solo, thank you very much for tuning in. So today we've got another toy hunt to do. And at the end of it, I'll have a whole video for you. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video to see what goodies I picked up. It's a long one today, so I do apologise. I've got a lot of footage to get through. I've been vlogging like crazy. And I've also been shopping and picked up a load of goodies. So let's roll today's vlog and uh, yeah, stay tuned to the end for the uh, awesome haul of goodies. Paige, what are you doing? Uh, Alright guys, here we go on another awesome toy hunt adventure. Today we're going to York, the city of York. It's going to be a lot of fun. This is Hawkins Bazaar, first of all, guys. They always have good pops. A lot, usually a lot of pops that we can't find or struggle to find here in the UK. They're usually good for, like, imports and stuff. But let's check out. They've got a lot of Angry Birds merchandise on the shelves right now, including RC cars, which is pretty insane. Um, a load of robot dinosaurs over here. And then a bunch of board games as we go further up. Uh, some some figures on the side there, but I'm not really going to look at them because we've seen them a thousand times, guys. It's the usual bunch that we've seen over and over again at B&M and Home Bargains and everywhere else. Nothing new. Uh, just going around the top part of the store just to double check they had nothing in the back. There's a lot of Lego sets at the back of Hawkins. But again, it's all usually a bit expensive. Not usually that cheap, sadly. But um, I want to look at the pops in here. So here is the Little Mermaid Mystery Mini set as a part of the anniversary for Little Mermaid. You can even get the uh, Little Mermaid and Eric in the uh, wedding attire as well as her red dress. You can also get Ursula uh, with the crown and the trident as well, which is a pretty cool one. So I would like to pick these up, but they did charge £8 each for these. I believe they are exclusive. But yeah, it's part of the 30th anniversary for Little Mermaid. Onto the Disney store, guys, and there's nothing new in here at all. I was hoping to find something awesome and new, but nah, not a sausage. I have to keep my eyes peeled as we get closer to Force Friday. Hey, look, Star Wars on the screen. And here's the section of York, which is known as the Shambles, which supposedly was where J.K. Rowling got the idea for the uh, Diagon Alley. As you'll see when we go down it in a minute, it's a very narrow street in York, full of old shops, full of knickknacks. And there is a shop here called Potions Cauldron on nine and three quarters, the shambles. So that's pretty cute. And then there's a couple of Harry Potter shops down here as well. So here we are inside the shop that must not be named, which is a Harry Potter shop. Uh, they have a lot of awesome stuff, including the Noble Collection. There's the cat plates from uh, the um, Professor Umbridge's... Is it Professor Umbridge? I can't remember. It's been that long since I've seen these movies. I need to re-watch them. The platform nine and three quarters, bowls and things. Uh, same sort of stuff you would find really at the platform nine and three quarters actual shop uh, in King's Cross. It's very similar sort of stuff. They have candles as well now, which is really cool. These scented candles. Uh, so they're pretty nice. Of course, they've got the Quidditch set there. That's nice. I oh, might I like that for my room. Oh, it's an advent calendar. Wow, fifty nine ninety nine overall. Oh, it's not Quidditch. It looked like Quidditch. It's the castle and the jewellery. It looked like the Quidditch field. <laughs> and then what else we got? A bunch of the books. A bunch of the pens in the shape of the wands. I like those. They're pretty cool. I did have those, but those, every time I put them on my desk, they go missing. Someone always manages to uh, take one of those away from me. And then we've got Ron and Hermione and a bunch of other of the plushies there. They're pretty cute. And a load of notebooks. Obviously, it is the back to school season at the moment, so a lot of these, I think a lot of stay stationary stuff will have been bought up, which is pretty cute. There's a lot of nice stuff in here that I think would look cool if you were a kid at school. I'd love to have a pencil case and that full of Harry Potter goodies. Yeah, the Dobby mug there, I like that. The Niffler, is it called the Niffler, I think? And we've got other charms and things, glasses, mugs galore here. 
Not a lot of other stuff that I'm dead interested in, though. I wish there was more. I was hoping to find the McFarlane's figures in here today, um, as they're coming out very, very soon. I'm hoping we might get a leak sometime soon with them, because I would love me the Voldemort figure. He also, the Voldemort figure comes with Nagini as well. But it's cool, because they do have the pop vinyls and stuff in stock, so that's pretty awesome. They have the ones as well in the mystery bags. They're pretty cool. Uh, they're just quite um, expensive. I would like to do the big mystery uh, one set, but they're far too expensive. About sixteen, about twelve to sixteen pounds, I think they were in B and M. But I'd love to do them. Then they've got the key rings as well. Again, they're all in B and M right now. So please check your B and Ms. They will be cheaper uh, for a lot of this stuff, which is um, it's bizarre, really. Why they're charging full price in here when B&M and that have got them discounted. And then we've got some nice bags as well. I'm not sure what brand those are, but those are very cool. Uh, they've got loads of the Noble collection in the glass in the cabinet there. Ooh, a Voldemort plushie. That's pretty cool. What else we got in here? Is that Ginny? Or Ron? Ron, I think. Um, Dumbledore. Voldemort's the best by far. Hmm. I like all the quills and things there, that's pretty cool. Got the train in the cabinet there as well. And a bunch of other key rings and knickknacks and goodies. If you're a Harry Potter fan, this is definitely a shop for you. It is just wall-to-wall -wall Potter merchandise. And this is just the first room. There are two rooms to look in. Uh, but I think we're just looking at the one room today. I don't think we've got time to go through to the other room, sadly. The other room is full of the chocolate frogs... Um, and sort of those kind of things and some of the baking sort of stuff because you can get a big mould for the frogs so you can make your own chocolate frogs and they have a bunch of I think like cooking books and things like that that tell you how to make all the Harry Potter style uh, baking goods so I think we'll leave that part of the store for another day and there's still two more Harry Potter shops on this street as well that we haven't gone in uh, but we probably won't hit those today but I will go back and take a look at those in the near future if you're interested because uh, there are a, a, a shop further down that does all the noble merchandise for Game of Thrones as well. So yeah, a really cool store. It's a lot of fun. If you're into Harry Potter, uh, it's definitely a shop you want to check out if you're in the UK. Again, this is on York Shambles in York City. Definitely worth a look. Here's the other window. Um, lo lots of stuff, like I said, on display. Uh, too much to really talk about here. But yes, yeah, they've got some nice stuff in there. Uh, the Q Posket figures as well are in stock now. It did win a tourist award as well by the looks of it, this shop, so that's pretty cool. And this is the shop that must not be named. Obviously a play on the uh, name for Voldemort in the first movie. But let's move on, guys. I think it's time to move along. And we're now in HMV. Superstar Junior's having a little boogie there to the tunage. Obviously, we can't play the tunes that she's dancing to because, you know, HMV would have my guts for garters and get get me done for copyright theft. But yeah, Superstar Junior's having a whale of a time there, boogieing down to whatever tunes are blasting in the background. I like to imagine that it's probably some form of death metal. Oh, and she's falling over. <laughs> oh, she's accident prone, my daughter. She's crazy. But let's keep looking, guys. We're in here looking for DVDs and pops today. Uh, look, they do have the Mega Man figures as well as some of the Fortnite little uh, blind, not blind box, but like, yeah, little figure boxes. And a bunch of the um, figures from the Disney's uh, Wreck It Ralph 2. Uh, the princesses in their pajamas. They're kind of cool, the rock candies. I do like them. And a bunch of pops here, but nothing special as far as I can see. They do have a Cuphead special edition one. Meh, can give that a skip. Of course, the Nightmare Before Christmas there. Nah. And Superstar Junior is dancing yet again. She loves a good boogie, this kid. She's absolutely bonkers. <laughs> oh, crazy little girl. What are you doing? <laughs> Having a proper rave in public. Love it. Move on. Come on, let's get it going. Let's find out what else we can find. So in Smith, oh this is Tesco, sorry, in Tesco they did have some of the new uh, Marvel Legends in the single boxes. Again, these are just £15. Uh, they're, wor they're worth picking up, I mean if you need to plug some holes in your collection then they're definitely worth it, but they are missing accessories and you know other head sculpts. Some of them I've got the secondary head sculpt in, but like Spider-Man didn't. And then they've got the Five Nights at Freddy's Pizzeria mystery minis. I haven't picked any of these up yet guys, would you like to see me unbox some of these on the channel? 
Let me know in the comments, guys, if you're interested in that. I would love to do them for you. And they also did have the other ones in stock as well, and they're all just marked up at a fiver. So it's worth picking up for five pounds, guys. I don't buy any more of the Endgame ones because I know damn well I'm just going to get a load of Thanoses. You know what I'm like with Marvel and Thanoses. <laughs> and they've got the Spider-Man ones here as well, but I wasn't too bothered for the spider Oh, that's the like Spider-Man. That's Aladdin. What's that doing in there? Still want that Jafar, though. Then we've got the new Fortnite line. This is the Legendary series. as part of the 6-inch line from Jazzwares. But they only have the one new figure in stock. Same as when I went to White Rose the other night and they only had the one figure in stock as well. So, hmm. Real pain in the behind. Just finding one figure at a time. But this is Smith's in my local area. And look, they do have a new doll for the Harry Potter range. We haven't seen that one before. So that's pretty cool. Mrs. Superstar could tell you her name, but I have no idea. I just know it as the girl that Harry kisses at the ball. They've got the giant Hegwig Funko there as well. That'd be a nice one to pick up. Oh, Mrs. Superstar is amazed because they do have the invisibility cloak. It's basically just a green screen <laughs> that your phone picks up on and makes it look invisible. It's cool piece technology, but I think it is just basically chroma key, isn't it? Isn't that just what that is? It's just a green screen effect? I'm pretty sure that's all it is. However, I have found some new pops that I'm interested in. I love these Venomized pops, and we do have a Venomized Rocket Raccoon here. The Venomized Storm up there as well. They're really cool, some of these Venomized ones. I like them. Uh, there's a Thanos kicking about somewhere that I need to find. And Sabrina, marked down already to $14.99. And they had plenty of stock of her, so I'm going to leave her a bit longer and see if they mark her down to 10 And a bunch more of these random carded... Marvel Legends, not sure, there's still no word from Hasbro as to what this series is and whether they're continuing it or whether it's just a one-off special, who knows. But it would be nice if they did continue it and we got other figures from other lines that we've yet to have in the UK, that'd be nice. Or some older ones, it'd be nice if we went, if they used this, like, the archive line for Star Wars, we went back and gave us some older figures. But moving on, we've got some dream matchups here with Goldberg vs Stone Cold Steve Austin. And the Woken Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy. I kind of want the, wo the Woken Matt Hardy. I really like that figure, but I don't want the Jeff in the two-pack. So if anyone wants to go half to me on a two-pack, I'd love it. Nothing new in the Batman collection. Just the same old peg warmers that have been there for months on end. When will it ever end? I already have Bane and Two-Face. I'm not sure why I'm bothered, but it would be nice to get, to get the new line in stock. Oh yeah, Super Soul Jr. is playing with the Power Rangers. I teach my dog good things. Good things in life like Power Rangers. It's more for time. That's a weedy looking Star Wars section. Force Friday can't come fast enough, guys. Can't wait for October 4th. And now HMV are having a big blowout sale of goodies. Massive sale on a lot of these steel books and a lot of box set collections are all marked down to below a tenner sometimes. So I'm going to look through all these bad boys and pick up some new stuff. And look, the Pikachu movie's out. I'm so excited. And on to Menkind, the second Menkind of the vlog. See what these guys have got in stock. Uh, pop vinyls galore, I can see again for Aladdin. They've got the uh, genie um, lamp, as well as a bunch of Lion King pops. I would like the uh, Luau, Stitch and Timon at some point. Definitely going to get those when I find a 2 for 20 offer. In here they are a little bit more pricey. Usually about £12 a pop. Hmm, what else can we find? Game of Thrones figures. I'm not bothered for any more of those. I got Night King. That's me done. Um, oh, some more of the Venomized collection. They've got Venomized Groot. I am Venom. <laughs> I think that's what he'd say. Wouldn't he say that? I am Venom. We are Groot. <laughs> And a Venomized Thanos as well. He looks really cool and weird in that white and black. So that's pretty sick. And moving on, guys, we do have some Fortnite stuff here as well. Not a lot of people are massively into Fortnite, but I still like it. I'm still enjoying playing the game each time the new campaign comes out. Well, season, as they call it. Uh, they do have the glider, but again, £25. Might leave the glider for now and hopefully pick it up when it drops a little bit more on offer. Hmm, a Fortnite Hacks book? There is no Fortnite Hacks, guys. There's n all these books are silly. Witch King there. Some nice, um... Some nice stuff there. Oh, and they've got the mug from the, uh, the pony... Oh, what do they call that place in Lord of the Rings? And they've got the, uh, Eleven versus the Demigorgon there. 
What do they call that pub? The Unicorn... Oh, I can't remember its name, but I would like the flagon of ale from it. Look at that. That's a really cool mug. I do love me some mugs. Obsessed with coffee. Let's keep scooting around the store and see what else we can find. I'm hoping to find that new It wallet. That's I see a lot of people have had. There's some fancy wallets in this shop. They usually have a, uh, a boatload of different designs. But they don't have the It one in stock at the moment. Sadly, I'll have to wait a bit longer. But they do have a bunch of uh, products in this cabinet to drool at. So let's take a look at all these goodies. Yeah. Anime galore. And then further down, they've got all the Funko stuff as well. Sorry, Funko. Um, oh, yeah, I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm saying, guys. Necker products. <laughs> Need the Gremlins. I might pick up some of the Gremlins around Christmas time. And looking here, there is this Clinton's cards, and they have some awesome black and white princess cards that have got little sayings on. And they have a massive sale right now 20% off of all the Jim, Sh Jim Shaw traditions. So definitely head down and check out your local. I think that includes Brio as well, by the looks of it in that collection. Super Shaw Jr. is just happy to see the big Mickey Mouse. And then finally, the last store of the evening is going to be Game Store to see if they've got anything in stock. Ooh, they've got that Boba Fett back in stock, but it is £20. It is a little bit expensive for what it is, but it is basically Boba Fett for the first time as we saw him in the cartoon. And going a little bit further down here, I think there's something cool here as well. Yes, they do. They have the Nun. Ooh, I might have to pick up the Nun. Mm, they have both versions of the Nun as well, which is awesome. There's no chase or variant as far as I can see. But they do have both variants. They've got a basic nun and the yeah, the evil looking one as well. Can't remember the name of it. The demonic one. Demonic. So they're pretty cool. I might have to pick those up. Two for 20 as well. Damn good deal. Means the regular price anyway. Ooh, the human torch. Hmm. Other than that, guys, let's head back to the main cam where we're going to check out what I got in this awesome haul of goodies. So stay tuned for this haul. It's going to be epic. Definitely grabbing a nun, guys. We need the nun in the collection, right? Hey, guys, me, Ozu, was all the heroes, June, and like, ah, I got a bunch of stuff. It's that time of the week again, guys. It's our weekly haul time. Boop. I'm sorry, I was putting the camera back. It's our weekly haul time, guys, and that means we're going to look at the goodies I've picked up over the course of this week and see what we have. So, first things first this week, it was the launch of one of the uh, big, well, biggest games for me that I was most excited about. Borderlands 3 has launched in the UK. And at Game Store, I went to the launch and they were handing out some more of these masks. So I now have an actual bagged one, like a proper one. Mine, obviously, I've worn it and stuff. This one is bagged and sealed, as you can see. So what I'll do is I'll be hosting a giveaway on my live stream. I'm going to be doing a charity live stream in aid of Macmillan, guys. The Macmillan charity. I'm um, doing that on the Saturday the 28th. I'm going to be doing a 24-hour gaming live stream. I'm going to be streaming for 24 hours straight. And I'll host a giveaway during that for the Borderlands mask. Probably during some Borderlands gameplay, because I will probably play some Borderlands um, on the stream. So if you're interested in winning this, uh, please do check out the, sh the stream. There's going to be a link to my Twitch down below. If you could go ahead and follow me on Twitch, you will get a notification through YouTube saying that I'm live, though. Or, or you should do. But I will tweet out about it on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and as many, as many places as I can to let you guys know that I am live on the day. Uh, so that's going to be Saturday the 28th of this month, September. Saturday the 28th of September, and I'll probably be starting around 10 a.m. Uh, on the Saturday morning, and I'll be following right through till 10 a.m. on Sunday morning. So if you can support us in any way, shape, or form, please let me know. I am also looking for sponsors and things like that, so if anyone's out there wants a shout-out for their business or their company or their uh, online retail shop, whatever, you know, give me a shout. There's, a, there's an email on my account here on YouTube in the About section. Right, guys, let's carry on with this stuff that we got today. Uh, so I did go shopping as well this week, as you can see, and I've had a delivery arrive. Uh, Kapow Toys, first of all, hooked us up. I bought this from them. It's the Ultimate Freddy from A Nightmare on Elm Street. It's based on the first movie. It's the Ultimate Freddy. 
Uh, they're not actually making many Freddy's and Jason's these days. I think there's some licensing issues. I think after that Jason we just had the Freddy vs. Jason one. I think that's the last Jason we're going to get for a while. And Freddy seems to be slowing down as well. I suppose there's only so many figures they can make. Um, I do still want to get the diorama, but that seems to be sold out everywhere. You know, the furnace? Uh, so this is based on A Nightmare on Elm Street. And it's the ultimate Freddy. Nice. On the back it says, Nancy is having grizzly nightmares. Something monstrous wants to kill her. Meanwhile, her high school friends who are all are, are having the very same dream are being slaughtered in their sleep by the hideous fiend of their shared nightmare. When the police ignore their explanation, she must confront the killer in his shadowy realm. And if we open it up, guys, you can see we have Freddy. Welcome to my nightmare. <laughs> So I will be saving this as a part of my October content, as you know I've got another Jason as well. So I'll be opening these over the course of October as a part of my 31 nights of Halloween. So stay tuned for that. Right after that, we're, we'll, we'll talk about the Blu-rays first before we go on to Hawking Bazaar. The Blu-rays, let's bring these bad boys out. So the first two I got were from CEX. Uh, CX is pretty decent because you can sometimes find some bargains like this. I got the Batman Motion Picture Anthology, which was £8 for the Blu-rays. The box is incredibly battered, uh, but it's £8. But do you know what? I'm not too bothered about the box. For £8, we've managed to pick up four Blu-rays of the Batman movies, which I don't have, which includes Batman, the original with Jack Nicholson, uh, the second film about the Batman Returns with uh, Michael Keaton uh, reprising as Batman and Danny DeVito and Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman and um, Penguin. I always I, I relate to that movie. I like that one. I love the Penguin in that. And then of course we've got the introduction of Chris O'Donnell as uh, Robin as we move into Batman Forever and Nicole Kidman in that one. And then Uma Thurman, Alicia Silverstone, and George Clooney, and the mess that is Batman and Robin. But it's my mess, and I love it. <laughs> what kills the dinosaurs? The Ice Age! You can't beat Anil just screaming nonsense about frozen things. Let it go! <laughs> anyway, we have Bumblebee as well. This was just four pounds. Four pounds at CX. I removed the I've removed the damn label, but it was four pounds at CX. I couldn't believe my luck, so thought I'd pick that up. I was I sort of said, "Is there anything wrong with the disc? You know, is, is it been marked or something?" And she said, "No." And when you look at the back, it's absolutely immaculate. So don't know why they're selling it so cheap. I know some people in the comments are going to be like, "I did not crap movie, me, me, it's a rubbish movie." I like the movie. I don't. I don't hate it. I actually loved the scene at the beginning uh, on Cybertron. That was a, I think it was Cybertron, but that was amazing. That about that battle scene at the beginning. I wish they could make a full film like that. Then, guys, I went to HMV and I finally picked up myself the Harry Potter eight disc collection for thirty nine pounds. I've been after this for a long time. All my Harry Potter films were DVDs, and it's one. It is one set of movies that. I want to sit and re-watch again, especially as we're going back to Florida in May, and we are predominantly doing Universal this time, so that means I will be checking out The Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I did do it years ago when it first opened, but so much has changed there now that it's going to be like seeing it for the first time all over again. I've not seen that area of the park in over eight years, nine years, is it something like that? I saw it when it first opened, and I've not been back since. So it's a nice Blu-ray box set, guys, and they have put all the discs into these little, like, sorted by years, which is quite nice, which I believe, are they the colours of the books? Is that why they've done it that way? And you get these little fancy like Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone and then the Chamber of Secrets here. If we open it up, the Blu-rays are nicely slotted inside. Two Blu-rays per movie. So when you kind of, when you weigh up, yeah, it was £40 for the collection... But actually, there's two discs per movie, so I've got all the extras and things on here. Um, it's all, it's the entire set of movies. 40 quid for some Blu-rays, ain't bad for eight movies. It's a damn good deal, in my opinion. So I'm glad I have that in my collection now. And like I said, me and Miss Supes are going to be re-watching those before going back to Florida. Then they had a deal on with uh, any purchase for 4 99 You could pick up Jim Henson's 
uh, the Dark Crystal. Obviously, with the new net Netflix TV series, I want to refresh my memory. I haven't seen Dark Crystal since I was a kid, so I've been dying to pick this up. And then, of course, we couldn't go to HMV without picking up the special edition version. Well, the HMV version of the uh, De Detective Pikachu movie. It's just come out. And it does have the uh, trading card inside, so let's go ahead and check that out. Right into it. Yep. Woo! So we do have a special Pikachu card. Oh, come on. Oh, yes! So they've even given us... You can use this code to unlock... There's a code on here that I'm not going to show you. But there's a code basically to unlock the card on your um, online Pokemon trading account as well. So that's cool because I do play the online game. And there's my Detective Pikachu card. Yeah! I'm glad they gave us the code to use it online. That's cool. I'm really excited about that now. So I can go unlock Pikachu on my online account. Oh, wouldn't, it might not be Pikachu, it might just be a booster pack or something, but either way, the game is an online present as well, so that's nice. Then I got the uh, Amazon delivery through. What a way to ship something, by the way. I hate these bags. I hate them with a passion. But they did have this on there on Blu-ray for just £10. The Universal Monsters Collection. This is the original Monsters, guys. None of them crappy remakes. The, on the only remake of these movies I like is Dracula. Uh, the Bram Stoker's Dracula. With Keanu Reeves and Winona Ryder, Anthony Hopkins. Just because it's an awesome cast. But this is the Essential Monsters. The 8-disc collection. Which has got all of the original monsters inside. It even comes with a really nice little book about the legacy and the origin of the House of Horrors. Um, but in this in this set... Oh my god, I can't even open it. Oh, it's a flat thing. Nice. So we get Bela Lugosi's Dracula. Uh, we get the uh, Frankenstein, the Mummy, the Invisible Man, the Bride of Frankenstein, the Wolfman, the Phantom of the Opera and uh, the Creature from the Black Lagoon. So that is a cool collection to own. It's all the original black and white movies. Happy days. Uh, Boris Karloff as well, obviously, is the uh, Frankenstein. Very, 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 very good movies. Um, I will, what can you say? This is where it all started. And again, I'm going to Universal. This is the Universal Monsters. And there's the Universal Monsters Cafe and things like that over at Universal. So I'm going to treat myself to some monster fun over October. Right, guys, as well, I did grab... Speaking of Universal Monsters, good segue, Sorrel. I went to uh, Hawking's Bazaar today. And at Hawking's Bazaar in York, they were selling the Universal Monsters Mystery Minis. Now, let me take the packaging off this one. That was going to be a little bit easier, I think. Alright, here it is, guys. So the Universal Monsters Collection is based on the ones that I was just talking to you about. So it's a great thing to get to go along with it. Um, in this, we can get a 1 in 6 chance of getting Frankenstein. 1 in 12 of getting uh, The Bride of Frankenstein. Then we've got Bela Lugosi's Dracula with a candle there. Uh, the Mummy. Black, the, the Creature of the Black, the Black Lagoon. The, the Wolfman. Uh, the, the Invisible Man. Phantom of the Opera is there as well. He's a 1 in 72. I would love that figure. Uh, the 1 in 72 of an alternate coloured version of the Thingy Man as well. Uh, 1 in 24 for Dracula. 1 in 36 for uh, Boris Karlov's Frankenstein holding a flower. And a variant of the creature as well, which is cool. So yeah, I'm happy about that. I really hope I get the Dracula. I want Dracula. 
I'd love to get a fan of the opera, but I doubt I'll get him. But I want Dracula and I want Bride of Frankenstein as my two mains. So I bought myself one, two, three, four, five, six chances of getting some cool stuff. So I will be doing that review real soon because I want to see what's inside those guys. So stay tuned on the channel for some awesome fun. Oh my god, I forgot about How could I forget about goodies? So GameStore went there as well and they had some awesome new pop vinyls. We got numbers. Where's the numbers on these? 775 and 776, the nuns. Uh, we got the, the regular nun, which is just called the nun. And then we also got the demonic nun. So there's a slight variation in the different versions of her. Um, I'm not sure if there's going to be any more exclusives or if there's going to be any chases in that line, but there is two different variants to get. So just to let you know, guys, uh, these are on two for 20 right now if you go to your local game store, so it's worth picking both up, that it works out at 10 or each. I also had some... Uh, where is it? I had some uh, total savings as well. I had loyalty and redemption. So I had £1.92 in redemptions to use. So I used that as well. So basically worked out that I got these for £9 each rather than 10 So happy days. Score. And I'm going to save these two because I'll use them as a part of my Halloween reviews, guys. Because as you know, it's coming up in October. All throughout October, I'll be doing Halloween reviews. Um, so as my part, a part of my 31 Nights of Horror. I'll be reviewing both of these pops in a video. So stay tuned, guys. Awesome stuff coming up. Guys, as you can see, there's some great things going on. I've got a great charity event coming up that I would love if you could all get involved in and watch on the live stream and stuff. But other than that, as you can see, great products coming up on the channel for review, including Freddy. Uh, gameplay over on Twitch is going to become a more regular thing. And yeah, I've just got some great stuff. If you want to see me do some Blu-ray reviews, let me know in the comments if that's something you're interested in. Um, me talking, you know, maybe me going through the all black and white horror films with you throughout October. If that's something you'd be interested in, let me know in the comments down below. But as always, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. May the force be with you.